dish and dog ears. Well, Americana is such a great catch basin. Anything from Lots Ray Charles to Black Keys to Doc Watson, and, and that's gracious. But my influences are very, very varied. You know, Bob Dylan was a, a, an influence. He, you know, invent, invented the, the job description. Uh, but I, I can't say I, I align myself with anybody's teachings as far as writing. I think that's a personal path that everybody has to pursue to find their own voice. The only rule to write club is there's no rules and there's no right way. You know, just write when you want, when you can. And um, because I think if you subscribe too rigidly, you're applying the craft and it can become a derivative. I loaded up the van and drove a one man band out west to that crossroads. I, I don't have any rules, but I find a <coughs> solitude. I think any creative person has to fiercely protect their solitude and their creative energy. Whereas that's why a lot of successful artists who are successful in their time have, have funding of some sort, even Nashville songwriters. That way that their creative energies aren't depleted uh, selling it on the day job. And uh, so I, don't, I find nature like, I find a lot of songs in the garden, you know, when I'm off stage, because I take solace in nature and uh, getting my hands in it. And that changes daily. Uh, and, and generally when I co-write, I, I don't even suggest a, a, a melody or progression. I'll just bring my words to the table. And uh, somebody asked me that a year ago and I said someone now who I, I wouldn't say today. Today, uh, I'd like to write with Tom Waits, of course, you know, but uh, you know, he's got plenty of words. Uh, Joe Henry, I'd, I'd like to work with. Um, that's a tough one. I'll just leave it at that. You know, there's so much talent in this country and on any, any given day, somebody can really rise. So you just never know. And I, but I love co-writing for the process, not for the result. You know? Well, as a traveling musician, I mean, we're, I'm not creating music, I'm marketing music and myself. And, uh, that's really, that, that's the icing on the cake. Uh, you know, more and more, everybody I meet is so positive. And uh, more and more, that little time I get to perform, you know, you know it's only, you know, not 10% of the day. The rest of I'm driving more than sleeping or performing. Uh, so it, it's creating is it, 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 natural to me. It, even when I wasn't performing for a window of time in the early this century, I was still writing. And I have stuff that I can go back to stuff I've written then, but I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, you know, I, I wish CD sales would pick up, you know, um, I wish for everybody, myself, especially, uh, I, I just don't know. Uh, Utah Phillips says someday the technology will fail us. And if that happened, I'm all right. I've, I've played as much unplugged as plugged. I mean, countless hours when I was playing on the streets in Europe. And, uh, so I'm not threatened by that. I don't need a PA. Well, um, you know, it depends on what side of the elephant they see, what song they listen to, or if they think it's, uh, not everything's written from my own perspective, or, or if it is, I might have to change, change the person, because the person I was at the time in that mindset might not be a likable, you know, uh, what is it, the unlikable narrator, as Randy Newman says. I'm not afraid to do that. Uh, but, um, I'd like my music to stand. Uh, I, I, I think it has that, that, uh, that opportunity. Like now, if I listen to soul music, it stands. If I listen to disco, it doesn't stand because the, it's so timed. Like the beat that's been so prevalent for 20 years, it's kind of fading off now. But that, that primal heartbeat that they lifted, it, it, it's, 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 it's so basic, you know, it just, anyway, I hope my music stands. and. Above all, I hope people appreciate it, and I'm grateful that I get to do what I do. Well, that's funny. I, I did one last night. I, I do, I mean, if I do four songs, I'll probably do it. And it's the first song I wrote when I moved to Portland. So I wrote it in 95. And normally when I do it now, I think of Butch Hancock, because he liked it. 
we become what I consider pretty good friends, and I, I, I adore him. And so I, I, I can just think the look on his face in that night, and uh, that's kind of how it comes back, you know. Uh, different times, you'll think of different people, and you don't want to think too hard, or you'll, you might miss a line. But it's, it's funny when you're in that timeless space of performing, it's almost out of body, and it's like in meditation, you become the observer sometimes and getting the overview and, uh, you know, again, you don't want to go too do far down that street, but it, it's, a, it's a weird thing, you know. Uh, you know, little vignettes will pop up, you know, on Jubilee, my current release done in Austin, I forgot a verse. And in that, that song, uh, Roses, Bridges, and Rain, was written literally between the corner store and the house in Portland I was staying in. And it fell out of the sky in one piece. And I got home and there was a rezzo there, a solid body rezzo, and I played it on that, and that's it. But I forgot a verse, and I, uh, and I think it's an important verse, and I, I add that every time now. Right. You don't get the electric band and the, the bluesy mojo and the slide and the violin and accordion, but you get another verse, so, you know. It's a trade-off. Every, every choice is a compromise. First edition dog-eared singery Light spine broken on the bed Between the covers We'll see what lies ahead We read so many mysteries Yours is the best I find So I guess I'll stick around I loaded up the van and drove one man band out west to that crossroads tavern that's as far as we get just to make that ballroom spin till the jukebox moon went down and be king of a one-horse town but we're doing things different now and i know you wish i'd quit this business it's a crying bloody shame How you can't stand the sight of it Though it's flowing through my veins So you call me your table dancing bear Cause I live to take a bow Till the great curtain comes down Let's keep doing things different somehow. Say the Lord's my shepherd As you lay there can she Ain't it a crime to feel like dying When you're just trying to rest in peace But we'll rise and shine tomorrow Roll away that stone somehow 
feel better than the law allows if we keep doing things different. Just doing things different in this new heaven we found. Just keep doing things different.